It's time to stop. Ever since the release of Yakuza 0, there's been one very strong opinion in the Yakuza community. Play Zero first. No exceptions. Any opinions otherwise are automatically invalid. But today, I'd like to change that. Maybe this video will give you a different perspective on the widely accepted rule on how to start the Yakuza series. But before we piss off the whole community, let's talk about why Yakuza 0 is the first game you should play. Well, chronologically, the story takes place before every other Yakuza game. And that's the only reason why you should play it first. If you want to experience the whole story in chronological order. This is the most common route for newcomers, but is it the best? Let's go through the counter argument. The number one reason why I think you shouldn't play Zero first is because to me, it's a celebration of the series rather than a definitive entry point. I say this as someone that started with Yakuza Zero, with no prior knowledge to the series other than the No Damage Mr. Shakedown video. And while I did enjoy my experience, I can remember how it felt once I finished the game. Wow, cool game. And I didn't play another Yakuza game until 6 months later. I'll tell you why this sounds familiar in just a second. Beyond the deep community of fans that very much love the Yakuza series, there's a lot of people that have only played Yakuza 0. I'm sure a lot of you know casual gamers that may have enjoyed Yakuza 0, but don't really care about the rest of the series. Or maybe they tried Kiwami and hated it because of what Majima had suddenly become, which I'll dive deeper into later. Point is, if I had to draw a pie chart of how many people have only played Yakuza 0 versus the rest of the series, it would look like this. And that's because Yakuza 0 is not a great entry point for the series. In my opinion, Kiwami does a better job at being the first Yakuza experience. It's a remake of the first game with the exact same story of how Kiryu and other characters were originally introduced on the PS2. If we go back to my first experience with the series, sure I enjoyed Yakuza 0, but it was Kiwami that made me a fan of the series to a point where I wanted to play the rest of the games. I think one of the reasons for this is that Yakuza 2 is basically a direct follow-up to Yakuza 1's story, since it's only set a year after. You see, the first five Yakuza games happen very closely with each other. The storyline is clear and consistent between these games, and none of these games ever mention any of Zero's events, since it was made after all these games. To me, this makes Zero feel disconnected to the series. People forget that Zero came out after Yakuza 5, 10 years after the first Yakuza game. They never rebooted the series with Zero, it was made with 5 games worth of lore and inspiration put behind it. I remember Nishiki's character during my first time playing Zero. I didn't care about most of his lines or who he was as a character. To me, he was just Kiryu's karaoke buddy that he had a falling out with at some point. But since playing Kiwami and going back to Zero, his lines held so much more weight with a clear foreshadowing throughout the game of what his character would become. I also didn't know who Shinji, Daigo or Ryuji were, which sucks because it would have been such a fun easter egg to experience on my first playthrough. I didn't know Saijima was in the game. I didn't know a Saijima lookalike was in the game. I could go on and on with examples. Yakuza 0 has so much to it that most players just miss out on. As a casual gamer, I wouldn't have known about any of this had I not made a hundred mod videos and kept playing through Zero. While it's still a really fun game, so much of the intended magic is lost if it's your first experience. One of Zero's strongest points is the Majima story. A lot of fans that play Zero first often get disappointed when they realise that their new favourite character that starred in their new favourite game is completely different in the rest of the games and never gets to shine like he did in Zero. The Majima Saga is one exception, which was a short add-on story that continued a bit of Zero's lore. Majima fans often don't like the rest of the series because Zero sets the wrong expectations for them. He's never a main character and that is enough for them to not give the other games a chance. Which sucks because the series has so much more to offer and isn't only Kiryu's story. A way to fix this would be to make another Yakuza game set between the events of Zero and One. Involve Majima more in the story and bring back characters from Zero. I think this sequel to Yakuza Zero would help bridge the gap and encourage players to play the rest of the series. Some people regard Zero as the greatest Yakuza title ever made. And in my opinion, players shouldn't diminish that experience by making it the first Yakuza game they ever play. There's no right or wrong answer though. 
These are just my thoughts, and you're welcome to comment your perspectives on this. If you find this discussion interesting, please leave a like and subscribe since it helps me out a lot. And that's all I have to say. I'm out.